When I got outside, it didn't seem quite as dark as when it was when I arrived yesterday. I might have had difficulties finding my way otherwise, but I could still see the portal in the distance. As I was walking, I wondered if anyone was following me, but the land seemed oddly deserted. Was everyone already asleep? Okay. Oh, here's the portal. Eventually, I arrived at my destination. Reza was already standing idly by the portal, his fidgeting making it obvious that he'd waited just for me. I was wondering whether you'd get it at all. I guess I did. Uh, yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, shut up, Reza. <laughs> what a wonderful night it is. Just look up at the stars. You can see them so clearly here, without all the pollution lingering in the air like a back home. Almost as if we're looking right into the face of eternity itself. For so long, humanity thought we'd find aliens out there. Yet after all these years, we found we were still alone in the universe. Turns out we were just not looking in the right place. What's going on? Why did you call me here? For one, because we're sending the generator home. Right, before I was sent here, they told me they would limit the use of the portal, as they couldn't afford to keep it open all the time. In order to keep in contact with us and to enable us to send things over to them, the portal would be open just for a quarter of an hour every day. Sending something back home wasn't really problematic for us, since the high energy expenditure associated with sending bigger objects only affected the sender, not the receiver. However, this also meant that until all business was concluded in regards to our trade with the PDAs and the generators, we're basically stuck here. As for the other, do you know what this place is? You said something about trouble. How much danger are we in, really? More than enough. I'm afraid this whole place will be gone soon, and we better not be here when it happens. What? What are you talking about? I hoped you'd see it too, but then it took me a while to understand, as I had a head start on you, in any case. While he was speaking, my gaze wandered over and fixed on something, some movement nearby. It was hard to make out anything, but I imagined it might have just been the wind blowing through nearby shrubbery, except for the fact that there was no wind. There's someone there. Your Reza. This might take a while to explain, but we got the whole night. No, we're not. No, look, we're not alone. He turned around to face whatever, whatever I was seeing. He squinted hard before he called out. How dare you follow me even here? The disturbance came closer until it became clear that it was Maverick who had hidden nearby to listen in on our conversation. I know you're up to no good. What are you talking about? What are you planning here? Some kind of attack? Really? There's no reason for that, mate. <laughs> Don't try to deny it. I heard both of you talking about it in the cafe and I saw the letter. You think I couldn't smell a lemon on it? Pathetic. You have to come with me to the police station now, both of yous. Yo, I think you're overreacting, but we'll come with you if it helps. Whoa, 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 whoa. This dude's pulled out a gun. What are you doing? Yo, let's get out of here. What? In the dragon's side, I could see the wound where the bullet had penetrated his hide, a trickle of blood staining his dark scales at the earth beneath. Reza used the opportunity to run off in the same direction. I wasn't sure which. What the fuck? You just shot this guy. I frantically scanned my surroundings looking for Reza, though he'd already vanished into darkness. What am I supposed to do? Run away? Help Maverick? I was just a diplomat. I had no idea what was happening. Suddenly, the dragon whipped around hitting me in the guts with this thick tail. I was lifted off the ground briefly before I felt the impact of my body hitting the ground, hard enough that my vision blurred almost immediately. A deafening roar battered my ears. Was this this cry for help? I could barely move, but I found it's better not to try as not to startle the wounded dragon more than he already was. It certainly would have ended badly for me if he tried anything. I heard him take a few unsure steps before he lay down on the ground, panting. I'm still watching you, you know, you better not move, for your own good. If I have to get up again and come after you in this condition, I can promise you I won't be nice. It took a few minutes of listening to the labour breathing when someone arrived. It was two dragons. The first I recognised as Sebastian, the other one I didn't know. I heard Sebastian and Maverick exchange a few words when the stocky fellow approached me. Who's this? Oh, okay, he's a policeman. I can see the badge. Yeah, things are turning a, a serious thing. Kid, kid, are you alright? What's up? I think I'm alright. <laughs> I'm Bryce. It's the chief of police in town. Can you tell me what happened? Reza shot Maverick and ran off. 
Yeah, I'm still in that guy out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is that is exactly what happened. His face was stern and seemingly lost in thought as I overheard Sebastian's conversation. Or what's he saying? Yeah, but you're a flyer on duty. We probably won't find him now. Not here in the darkness at any rate. Oh, that's great, isn't it? What do you think, Chief? Yo, can I walk? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, Sebastian, take your shield to the apartment. Get us some help here from Maverick. And then we'll look for Riza. Right arm. <laughs> Come on, let's help you up. Okay. I was still shaken up by the events I just witnessed when I arrived at my apartment. Not knowing anything better to do, I soon fell into a deep slumber. Okay. I've got no idea what's going to happen. Okay. The next day I awoke with many questions lingering in my head. I considered calling someone from the police department to ask about Riza and Maverick. But in the end, I decided against doing that, so as I was sure that they would contact me if they had anything to say. I knew it was no use worrying about it for now, so I settled for starting another book. Someone at the door. Yo, what's up? It's Bryce. Okay. You again. <laughs> Are you surprised? No, but I guess it will mean bad news. Okay. <laughs> Afraid so. How are you holding up? Better than yesterday, that's for sure. Let's go for a walk, shall we? Okay. Yeah. This time, I was taken on a different route than yesterday, and I was quite sure there was more to this than just taking a walk. I'll just go ahead and guess you didn't find Riza. Yeah. We'd hoped he'd come back on his own by now. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of place in particular that holds some meaning to him. Not really. We didn't get a chance to talk at all yesterday. And there's that too. I've got no idea why Riza would have done anything like that. I had the impression that they weren't very fond of each other. But how is he, by the way? Yeah, Maverick's fine. There's plenty of blame to go around. You're right. They didn't particularly like each other. In his statement, Maverick says he suspected Riza of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? Not really. No, he only told me something was going to happen. Not that he was planning anything. At least, that was the impression that I got. He's suspecting you too, by the way, that you both planned this all from the beginning. Nah, that wouldn't make sense. Actually, none of this makes sense. Why would we go through all the lengths of our agreement only to jeopardise it by doing something like this? You even already have our PDAs, and we don't have much to show for it yet. If we have any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. You got a point, I believe you. But from our side, we only have Maverick's word on the whole matter. After all, he was the one who spent most of the time with Riza since we arrived. But even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday, and his behaviour was completely out of line. I'm glad you came out okay. If he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would be suspended right now. We'll have to wait until this whole thing is over before we can decide what to do with him. I can assure you that this won't be taken lightly. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Maybe they both acted in the heat of the moment where I come from. This kind of attack on a diplomat could be classified as an act of war, punishable by death. What? I hope so. Um, maybe they both acted in the heat of the moment. Maybe. We've still got quite a lot on our hands, though. We have a wounded dragon and a missing human. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Maybe Riza will show up soon, and we can get all this behind us. I hope so, too. I really wouldn't want to jeopardise everything over this unfortunate incident. Yeah, how about we just both keep quiet about this whole thing for now? After all, I don't think any of us wants our people panicking about this. I nodded in agreement. Okay. Now where are we? Eventually, we arrived at the police station where the chief took my formal statement in regards to yesterday's events. He asked me about Reza and Maverick too. Not that I knew much anything that preceded yesterday's events or the mysterious catastrophe Reza had mentioned. Afterwards, he thanked me and left to file my statement while I sat by his table, waiting and listening to the going-ons of the small provincial police department. When he returned, he was approached by someone who seemed to have urgent news. A lot of talking between the two ensued that I couldn't make out from my position. This went on for a bit until Bryce returned to me. Yo, what's up? Tell me. More bad news. Well, Reza has now officially become a murder suspect. What? Maverick died? We're headed to the crime scene. And hoped you'd come with us. No, it's not Maverick. What the fuck? I don't really know anything about forensics. 
It's just that you're the only link to Reza that we have. Consider what he said would happen to us. It's in all our interest that we find him as soon as possible, and if he has anything to do with it, you might be able to help us find him. Your cooperation would certainly be appreciated, and it would be a nice gesture to show us that you're trustworthy in the eyes of those who might think otherwise after what happened yesterday. Will you help with us? Yeah, I, I guess. Um, yeah, I want to see what's going on. I suppose I don't really have much of a choice, but you're right. We've got to find Reza, and if that's what it takes, then I'll do it. Very well, let's go. Okay, on our way to the crime scene, he tried to prepare me for what would come. I had studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Asking myself how similar this would be, I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon, but a human corpse I would be seeing. When we arrived, we were met by Sebastian, who gave us an overview of the whole situation. This morning, the victim was found by a delivery flyer for a restaurant. Blood loss from multiple wounds were the likely cause of death. Forensics were already here, so feel free to poke about. A few paces in front of us, there was an unfortunate victim, covered by a sheet that concealed the body, but not the large red stain beneath. We approached, while Sebastian went off to deter any curious onlookers. I know it won't be pretty, and I'm sorry for putting you through this, but you know what's at stake here. Just remember what I told you, and you should be fine. Okay. Are you ready? Um... Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Someone's been... Oh, you've been cut up. That's not good. Hmm. Slash marks all over the... Everything. And the throat and the chest and the abdomen and the arms. What do you think? Well, he's definitely dead. <laughs> he's got blood around the mouth as well? Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> Let's just say this will be your test and tell me what you can deduce from what you see. Give it your best shot. What? I'm going to save it now. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Investigation start. What? Okay. Two wings, two legs. Just like the waitress in the cafe. About as big as a human, lengthwise, if not slightly taller. The wingspan would certainly look impressive at that size. Okay, five slash marks. I see them. Oh, and all over the body. The wounds are kind of hard to miss. True, but what are they telling you? Uh, we've got sharp implement. Perpetrator was unusually large or small person. Already dead when they got the wounds. Suicide, yeah. Um, because like the throat has got all the blood coming out, so it looks like the other cuts haven't bled, which means they would already be dead, wouldn't they? He was already dead when they got these wounds. How so? Seems unlikely. I don't know. Inflicted with a sharp implement then. These are clean cuts like from a knife or another sharp instrument. That's true, but why does this matter? Uh, it couldn't have been Reza. Because he's got a gun, I suppose. It could have been someone with hands. That's right. Only those of us who can walk on two legs have the proper dexterity to wield a knife effectively. Most other dragons will probably just bite instead. Of course, this rules out most of the bigger dragons and the flyers. But then Reza still had, what was it called again? You mean a gun? Yeah. If it was him, why would he kill someone with a knife rather than use a gun on him? Makes him look cool. He lost a gun. He didn't want to make a noise. He wouldn't because it wasn't him. It's not suicide. Uh, didn't want to make any noise. He didn't want to make any noise. After all, he ran away from Maverick trying to hide from the police. Something as loud as a gunshot would have easily given away his position and alerted others in the area. Right, that could be a reason. By the way, which wound do you think was the lethal one? Uh, I'm going for the neck. I mean, look at that. The, yeah, the neck. I think it was this one right here. That's right. If the blood wasn't the giveaway, this is the stab wound, characterised by a rather small footprint. You can tell it's also the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious that this, mu this must have done tremendous damage. What else do you see? What, the blood? There's lots of blood. The blood splatter suggests that he was haemophiliac. What, he has AIDS, really? He died here. This isn't blood. What? He was dragged here and he committed suicide. I think he died here because there's, there's no drag marks. He's it's, it's just lying in it. Yes. 
else there would have been a trail to follow. These feathers also suggest that this is where they fought. That's true. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with determining who the perpetrator is. Objection! <laughs> Lost that. Sorry, I just always wanted to say that. Oh, we got a Phoenix Wright fan in the house. Yeah, what's up? Please, tell me. What? What about the blood on the muzzle? You tell me. He's a vampire. What? He fought back. He had a bloody steak earlier. He had gum disease. He bit his tongue during the fire. Uh, if he fought back, wouldn't the claws have blood as well? Let's go, he fought back. It might be the perpetrator's blood. Yeah, that is true. I expect forensics already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. I think that's about everything. Investigation over. You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe you should come round more often. <laughs> You did well on the first investigation. Sweet! <laughs> oh, you actually get graded. What? Hey, Chief, do you still need the witness here for anything? Sebastian approached with the dragon who had discovered the body earlier. I recognised her as the Dean, the waitress from the cafe. She seemed distraught, which given the situation wasn't very surprising. I don't think so. Take her to the department, get her statement written up, and that should be it. Sure. Alright, miss. I'm going to have to take you to the department. Uh, of course. What has she seen? What has she seen? When she spotted me, however, her composure brightened visibly. Oh, it's the human. I am a human. Well, I'll call you by your name, but you haven't actually told me yet. Yeah, we're on good terms with my first friend. It's, yo, it's Ushio. How you doing? What are you even doing here? Do you work for the police now? Uh. Looks like it. <laughs> Maybe I should be calling you officer then. That's no, I'm not quite there yet. And by the way, I didn't know you also did deliveries. I do a little bit of everything really. That's nice. I like my uh, fish. <laughs> you didn't have to hide it. I know it's quite an acquired taste. Oh man. To be fair, I wouldn't have recommended it to someone new like you. But you could always try something different. Here's our number. If you don't want to come in and we'll deliver anything we have to you. Alright, sweet. Give me that food. Not the fish. Sorry. I guess we should be going. Bye. Alright, they're, they're gone. What do we do now? I suppose we'll head off too, unless... Oh, oh no. What's I'll oh, know? What's up? Oh, it's Maverick. We got a violent homicide and of course nobody from the department tells me. I have to find out from a neighbour who wanted me to ask about it. Good thing rumours travel fast, yeah? <laughs> Of course no one told you, you're on sick leave. Mandatory sick leave, I might add. Get out of here. I'm not here in any official capacity, you see. I'm merely enjoying a curative walk in the fresh air and happened to come across you by accident. Of course you did. What do you want? I don't want anything. I just find it interesting that no one tells me about this, but the prime suspect's buddy can mess with the investigation. I see how it is. I know what you're thinking, but don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> I don't need to jump to conclusions. I think the dead body we found says it all. You really got an attitude problem, dude. <laughs> you know, if you weren't on sick leave, you'd be suspended right now for attacking me yesterday. Do you have even have any idea what kind of repercussions this could have on all of us? Me? Attack Oshio? You don't attack me. As far as I can see, I'm the only one who's injured here. Besides, I'm so sorry for apparently being the only one doing his damn job. This guy beat me up. This guy punched me in the stomach or something. Right, let's all just sit idly by while the suspect's on the loose and planning his next move. You know, whatever it was Riz was talking about, he was going to tell me just before you showed up. I don't need to hear you of all people belittling me, me about this. <laughs> What's your problem, bro? My dude, my boy. If anything, I want to find out as much as you do. Don't compare yourself to me, your words mean nothing. Enough, you shouldn't even be here. You better go now and get some rest before I have to take disciplinary action. Fine. But when we find him, you'll see I was right. If I have to prove it myself, so be it. Oh wow, this guy's gonna show up later. Can he just do his own investigation like that? Well, as long as he doesn't interfere with us, we can't really stop him from doing things in his own free time. Okay, I suspect he won't adhere to the standards of performing an unbiased investigation though. He's already made up his mind. It's clear to me he won't be looking for facts, just for evidence to support his own view, in order to prove himself to us or for himself. Who knows? He's always been like that. Always something to prove. We've got to be careful. He'll be looking for Riza soon enough. 
To be fair, I might be too far for a shot. That's that's the point. That is a point. Let's hope we find Rita before he does. At least that means we'll f someone will find him. All right. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. If I was shot, I'd be pissed. Yeah. That's exactly why he wouldn't be on the case, even if he was on sit leave. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll turn up eventually. I hope so. All things considered, I had to admit that it remained a possibility that Maverick was right, and could be Reza I knew really be the murderer. You know what? If you think of something that might help with the investigation, or you need anything, give me a call. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go.